Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. Today I am making another career advice video and this is uh, specially designed for a plus member. So some of the things that I will be explaining it is basically uh, according to the membership that this member have. Uh, last time I talked about a premium member because they have lab access. So just quickly without going into too much detail, plus membership is where we create courses custom courses like help desk ticketing system office 365 anything that we create in our platform which is jobskillshare.org and any videos on the labs so for example we have a full lab hands-on lab comptia a plus so we made a whole video of those labs so you have access lifetime access to that kind of resources which is a very powerful access for people who want to see the new videos for lifetime but they also can use their own equipment to replicate things without spending money on uh, premium membership of course premium membership has its own value there because there's so much in there that you cannot replicate everything so plus membership is still a good option uh, for some members uh, to try out so this member is a plus member and this member has a query about uh, they did a ccna and CCNP, which which I'm thinking right now is this is where um, you have to understand that this is an issue that why we are existent, like we are we are here because of this issue, that a lot of people will teach CCNA, CCNP, but the problem with that is that didn't they teach you how to now use CCNA and CCNP to get the job, right? Because if your next query is about, I'm looking for an entry level, my first job in IT, then that is where the problem will start. Because usually, when you're going for a first job in IT, I'm going to tag this right here, the first job in IT, a lot of people will talk about, let's start with some type of help desk positions or some type of support positions. And even if they go for a CCNA or CCNP, which is a networking specific job, that's where that that whoever you are basically learning CCNA, CCNP from, you have to have a very solid questions from them. How would you get me an entry level job because I'm taking CCNA? It is a networking focused learning. How can I land a job with CCNA? Because is CCNA, are you preparing me for a network engineer, a knock entry level position? So then that makes sense. And then how are you going to do that? How are you going to prepare me at least? Of course, no one's going to give you a job or or if somebody tells you I'm going to give you a job, that's very strange. But of course, maybe some people make it, they can do that. But usually in most like cases, uh, people are going to say that, you know, we're going to teach you skills just like us. Now, we don't we don't. Uh, you know, offer jobs, but we say that, okay, if you're going to go for an entry level job, we're going to teach you the skills that you are actually going to need an interview, you're going to need after the interview. And as soon as you land a job, uh, when you start performing that job, you're not going to be stressed because you have you would have covered a lot uh, that relates to your job. So that's the first question. If you are in this situation as well, then you should be asking these questions to yourself as well, because CCNA, first of all, is a pretty broad certification, very good certification. But the problem is that if you really are focused, if you want to go into networking and you want to learn this, uh, you know, how networking works, then yes. But if you feel like you don't have that ability to take stress on a very broad level, uh, you know, deep information of networking and, you know, how things works, then this is not a course for you. You have to go a little below that or you have to start somewhere that that you're targeting, actually. So in this case, I see that you're targeting an entry level job to me, then CCNP doesn't even make any sense for someone to actually finish that course. So but you did. That's great. I'm not saying that you didn't do a, a good job of not doing that. You did a great job. Now you you have this credential, which is a good thing. It's going to help you later on. But right now you're stressing out because you see a, you, you did these two and you're feeling like you should be getting a job. So here I'm looking for a first job. And I'm totally lost now and I don't have any experience. So it's too hard for me to land a job in this field. Okay, two things over here. Number one, you don't have experience, right? That's This is where 
this is where the biggest problem for a lot of new people when they come to IT is that I don't have experience. That's because you haven't tried some of the methods, some of the solutions that are outside right now. For example, lab at home. For example, free internships that we provide in Discord community now. We have an example over here. We have shown this to the, the world that you can have experience even without getting a job. How, how are you going to do that? You're going to do certain things that normal people don't do. They just basically take their resume, they go to their college, they finish their college, work on their resume and start shooting it out and they don't get response because they cannot talk about Active Directory, they cannot talk about Office 365, they cannot talk about deployments, they cannot talk about the things that can be outside of their normal education, theoretical education. So that is where you need to be a part of a community where you have to then utilize these solutions to be able to next time say that I'm not lost. I know where I'm going. I already have experience from internships, from different solutions. There are techniques that we have used and we have actually proven to the whole world that we can do that. We have an internship groups in our Discord community that people are taking our program and then taking our internships and then after that they are getting jobs. Some people have not even touched our programs. I'm not even talking about payments over here. Some people have done just internship and got the jobs. So this this is when you haven't done uh, this type of research. You you have done a great job over here to basically finish some of the normal way of people telling you to get into IT, go do CCNA because it's a great certification, just do it, right? But they haven't told you that you're going to come across this lost thing, experience, and the things that are going to hit you after this two certification, who is going to tell you about certain roles in IT, who is going to tell you about the skills that are in demand, who is going to tell you about the issues that we face when we look for descriptions, the descriptions are outside of this world when people ask for an entry-level job and then they put three years of experience which is totally crazy and that's where then there are techniques for that then we're telling people that you don't need to worry about that because if it's an entry-level job and you know the skills you have to prepare your resume the way people are going to get impressed then you counter these type of issues and your problem is solved when you have this type of problem so this whole block can be solved just by following either our program or somebody else program but since you are a plus member I'm just going to directly tell you that yes you have to follow our program because you already paid for that that plus membership so you already I don't need to sell anything to you I don't need to tell you to become any member you are already a, a member who have a lot of access over here so you, the solution is in your hands right now you just need to now focus on what you really need to start with. Can you give me a su suggestion, please? Uh, what kind of entry level jobs can I apply? How to prepare for interview? Now, here's a great, here's a, here's a normal thing right now. For, so, basically, what 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 I'm seeing here is that the the fundamental course is what teaches you all of this stuff. So, my first question would be: Did you finish the fundamental course? If you have not, then maybe it's too soon for you. Um, for this type of, uh, you know, uh, for these questions that, that, can, that can stress you out. So don't worry about it because we already got you covered. So what do you need to do right here? Because now your, your specific issue right now, what I'm seeing is that it's not about certifications. You already have good knowledge right now. It's about knowing how to actually go about it. It's like, how do you know about these careers, roles, skills, marketing, resume? How do you actually prepare now? This is a practical step that you need to take now. So I'm going to show. So the first thing I want you to do is because you're a plus member, you have access to all of our videos. So the first thing what I want you to do is to do not take random courses in jobskillshare.org because there's too much in there, right? That's going to be something right now what you're what, what i'm looking at you need a targeted you need a more focused plan right here so the first thing you need to do is to start with the get certification program right here you're going to click on it and this is something that we tell every single person so here you can see what you're missing for that entry-level jobs is this type of stuff 
So your CCNA is going to cover you pretty good on your resume. You're going to probably talk about some things that, that you know, if people ask about what is, you know, uh, you know, layers or what is network layer, what is this layer application, blah, blah, blah. You probably will give an answer. But if somebody asks you about Office 365, Active Directory, imaging, software deployment, troubleshooting, soft skills, you're not going to be able to answer that good with just CCNA. So that is where you need to then use this program. And simply come, come over here, start the self-paced program, and then start from the first course, which basically kind of tells you about how do you prepare yourself, different type of roles and everything like that. Okay, while you're in this program, I want you to do another thing as well, and probably do that even before this program. Go to Job Skills Share, click on Job Skills Share Community. This is a Job Skills Share a YouTube channel. You're going to go and type the Job Skills Share Community. You're going to go to the playlist. In the playlist, you're going to click on IT Support Job Readiness and Career Knowledge. Once you open this playlist, this is the keys to your success right now. And the reason I say that this is the key and not even the courses, it's just talk. It's just telling you the information that we spend 15 years or 20 years in this career to find out this information. So this is what's missing from a lot of places. When you go to a course or a boot camp or a college or a university, people don't talk about this stuff. They don't talk about this details like skills or roles or description, the issues in descriptions. How do you tackle it? How do you work on your resume? How do you target your resume? How does people see your resume? All this stuff, you, when you work on it, you save yourself stress and you save yourself time. Because this is where a lot of people, I see in, in our own members, they spend a lot of time learning courses, do practical things, but they don't spend some time on just watching a video on something very tech or something very strategic, I would say. You have to watch these videos to usually turn your practical learning or whatever you have learned in IT into a smart way of, of using that. So this playlist is designed for that real question that you have. I'm confused. I'm lost. Um, I, where do I start? What kind of jobs do I have to apply for? So look at this right here, job titles and job descriptions. This is where everything is uh, is uh, basically explained. And then on the, on the bottom, how do you prepare your real resume? And on the bottom, all the way to the bottom, then it tells you the value of the skills program that we provide versus a normal programs like, you know, even a live training, two or three days live training cannot be compared with a three or four months long research program with hands-on ability. Everything is in there. So you have to uh, kind of like, you know, spend some time over here. If you are serious about your career, then I would highly recommend you spend a lot of time on this playlist, then go back to the courses. Everything will be just, everything will make sense to you after that. The reason for that is that it's the information that you're missing right now. So you just have to add this information, finish the program because you already have access. Now as a plus member, yes, you do not have access to practice labs which you definitely need to with our videos since you have a lifetime access to a lot of videos you can use your virtual box get some lab environment and replicate a lot of these labs that we you are going to learn from the videos um so that's uh, that the key in these two memberships that you have lab access you have uh, sorry you have video access but you don't have lab access so because our program is a very hands-on program it talks about practical skills technical skills a lot of it 90 percent of the time uh, we do have a lot of soft skills area too and that's where you need to actually replicate in your own virtual box environment if you don't want to invest money in premium now later on when you get ready for job interviews that's something you should be really considering after when you learn these things then in the courses we have actually given you another playlist in the in the in the our website we have a lot of playlists, collaborated play playlists with CavTech, different type of people. And you can see right here, IT support interview full list sessions right here. This is one of the top playlists that even if I had this in my time, I would be jumping right now because this is the information you're not going to get outside. This is something unique to our community, which is I'm thankful to a lot of people who are doing this for free. Those are the people that are the real heroes. So they're coming over here and putting their time to really get you ready. So you have to invest this time. A lot of people want something quick. It's not going to happen. You can see right here, each uh, each video is two hours, two hours, almost three hours, three hours videos. These are professionals. They have spent all this time just for you guys to learn these skills. So if you're not going to spend that kind of time 
then your stress level is going to be high and of course job skill share is about reality we don't uh, tell people lies or anything you're not going to be successful even if you do it's going to come with a cost which is stress and if you want to lower your stress you need to go over these videos to learn what these professionals have already shared with you to make sure that you learn smartly and you get the job quickly and then also not just getting a job in job skill share we don't just believe in just getting a job you also then performing and becoming a technically sound it professional for a long long term and because of the membership it's a lifetime membership with the video access so yes you are going to be pretty good at uh, doing things thank you so much and if you have any questions please